Right now at noon, we're learning the Democratic National Convention is being put on hold due to safety concerns. And a record number of Americans are signing up for unemployment benefits. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for joining us. We start with breaking news from the Channel 3000 Alert Center. The Democratic National Convention is being delayed due to the coronavirus pandemic. Pandemic Today, the convention committee announced a new date, the week of August 17th in Milwaukee. The original date was July 13th to the 17th. They say this will give planners more time to determine the most appropriate structure for the event that could include adjusting the convention's format and crowd size. As part of the contingency plan, the committee has confirmed that Pfizer Forum, the Wisconsin Center District, and hotel accommodations in the surrounding area are available in August. Dane County is reporting 234 confirmed cases this morning, according to Public Health Madison, Dane County. That's two additional cases from yesterday afternoon. Three people have died in Dane County. They were all over the age of 65. But the majority of confirmed cases in the county are affecting people between 20 and 44 years old. Across Wisconsin, there are more than 1,600 cases and 35 deaths. More than 216,000 cases have been reported across the U.S. and more than 5,000 people have died. In the span of 72 hours, the number of COVID-19 deaths in New York in New York State more than doubled and paramedics in the city received new marching orders. If a patient is in cardiac arrest and the EMTs are not able to get a pulse back at the scene, the patient will not be transported to a hospital. Nurses in several states are protesting over a lack of protective gear. Many say their hospitals are rationing critical supplies. The pandemic has forced an unprecedented, unprecedented number of Americans to seek unemployment help. The Department of Labor says a record 6.6 .6 million people filed for initial unemployment benefits last week. That's double the record high of 3.3 million claims from the previous week. This is an absolutely insane number of people, and it sure does hurt to see these numbers because I don't think they're going to let up anytime soon. Some help will come from the government's $2 trillion economic stimulus package, but many say even more is needed. The Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis estimates about 47 million workers could lose their jobs as companies affected cut their staff. Wisconsin WIC is encouraging anyone who was recently laid off or furloughed to sign up for nutritional aid. WIC serves low-income pregnant, postpartum, breastfeeding women, and also infants and children under the age of five who have health or nutrition risks. Dads, grandparents, and other caregivers of children under five may also sign children up. To find out if you qualify for WIC, visit WICMomStrong.com. The White House's coronavirus task force is looking at a way to stop the spread of the virus within the U.S. That means we could see a very limited travel ban for some parts of the country. Natalie Brand has more details from the White House. The FDA is announcing it has approved the first test that can detect whether people have already developed antibodies to COVID-19. The peace of mind that would come from knowing you already were infected, you have the antibody, you're safe from reinfection 99.9% .9 of the time. The Coronavirus Response Coordinator, Dr. Deborah Burke, says the task force is working with universities across the country to develop these types of tests. I think that would be very reassuring to the healthcare workers who have been on the front line. We worry about them every day. To stop the spread of the virus, President Trump says he's considering a limited travel ban for areas hardest hit by the pandemic, but a decision has not been made. I am looking where flights are going into hotspots, but closing up every single flight on every single airline, that's a very, very, very rough decision. The president also confirmed the national stockpile of medical equipment for emergencies is almost completely drained. The National Guard is moving a lot of this equipment and medical supplies into a hospital or into an area where it's needed by the state. State leaders say they're still competing against each other for supplies, prompting New York Senator Chuck Schumer to call on the president to streamline the process under the Defense Production Act. We need him to put in charge a czar of the whole uh, production and distribution of these materials under the DPA. President Trump responding to Senator Schumer tweeted, remember, we are a backup for them. The complainers should have been stocked up and ready long before this crisis hit. Other states are thrilled with the job we've done. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. 
And the FDA says antibodies against the virus are generally detectable in blood several days after initial infection. Middleton City Administrator wants to remind Middleton voters that all polling locations are being consolidated at Cromery Middle School on Tuesday. Voters are asked to enter through door number five, not the main door. Voters will be separated by their usual polling location. They're asked to remain six feet away from others and bring their own pen to reduce the spread of germs. There will be a transparent barrier between voters and poll workers to help keep everyone safe. If you are voting absentee, you're asked to drop off your completed ballot with a witness signature at the drop box located in the library parking lot on Hubbard Avenue. The final pickup from this location is 7 p.m. on Election Day. You can also drop off your absentee ballot at Cromery Middle School before 8 p.m. on Tuesday. Nonprofits are among the many organizations facing uncertainty and loss during the pandemic. To help, Madison Community Foundation has distributed nearly $4 million to local nonprofits. They're also supporting the United Way of Dane County's COVID-19 Emergency and Recovery Fund, which goes to communities' health and human service needs. Madison Community Foundation has also provided support for nonprofits that are not covered by the United Way's fund. If you're in a position to help at this time, you can donate at Madison Gives dot org slash community support. Let's head to the Weather Center now. Meteorologist Chris Reese has a look at your first worn forecast. Hi, Chris. Hello, Mark. Plenty of sunshine out there earlier, but we're now starting to see clouds return to the picture as that next storm system gets ready to come our way. But hey, we're at 54 degrees. Winds are out of the south at 15 miles per hour. Folks, we will continue to warm up today. Look for these temperatures making a run at 60. Basketball has already made it there. Mineral Point coming in at 57. Lacrosse at 58. Even Black River Falls at 60 degrees right now. Now, here's those clouds moving in from the south and west. We will continue to see more of that as we go through the rest of this afternoon. So get ready for the gray skies, folks. We're also tracking the next round of showers coming our direction. I'll let you know when you can, when you can expect those coming up here in about, uh, say, 10 minutes. All right, we'll see you then. Thanks, Chris. There's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon. Up next, we'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. If you like the idea of a dish that has long cooked taste, but you don't have time for all that long cooking, make sure you join us today. If you experience bladder leaks, you shouldn't have to sacrifice discretion for protection. Try Always Discreet. The unique design features protective leak guards, which help prevent leaks where they happen most, and an absorbent material that turns liquid into gel for up to 100% leak-free protection. The shapewear design provides a closer fit to ensure total discretion. Choose the solution that keeps you drier and offers a seamless fit. Try Always Discreet Underwear with a money-back guarantee. Brand power helping you buy better. Spectrum Mobile is a better way to mobile. First, we delivered the fastest overall speeds and the most reliable mobile service, coast to coast. Now, we're bringing you 5G, and it's only going to get better. We're extending our network every day so we can offer you the best experience. That means faster speeds, so you can do whatever you want, wherever you are. 5G is here. Spectrum Mobile. Wow, you ready? Yeah, let me just grab my wallet. Uh-oh, I've seen this before. Wallet way too big, skinny jeans too skinny. I'll just carry it. Before you break something, you should know you don't actually need a wallet. With BMO Harris, you can just take cash out with your phone. Or if you need to, you can pay him with Zelle. That works? Yeah. You're stuck, aren't you? Smile. Woo. Those jeans are way too tight. That feeling you get when no wallet is no big deal. That's the BMO effect. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection remains open to serve our customers and communities during these times of uncertainty. During Safer at Home, we've got you covered for all your plumbing service needs. Call us for help. We are here for you. At U.S. Cellular, we're building a powerful new 5G network that breaks down barriers. Because it's only fair that you get uninterrupted service. So you can work without obstacles. And stream without disruptions. 5G, now available in Wisconsin. Unlimited data starts at $30 a month. It's the best value in wireless. Switch today for just $30 a month with four lines. U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. We know that many of you are struggling to cope with the news in the world right now. We are too. At News 3 Now, we're taking every precaution we can while still getting you the information you need. We'll find the moments of inspiration as well. 
More than ever, we have to be there for our friends and family. That's why I'm joining the News 3 Now This Morning team. We've been through tough times before. We'll get through this too, together. If you like the idea of a dish that has long cooked taste, but you don't have time for all that long cooking, then you're gonna go head over heels with the one pot wonder we're making today. Plus it's hearty, comforting, and very budget friendly. Here we're sauteing some celery and carrots. Sauteing them brings out their natural sugar, which will add so much flavor. To that, we add a generous amount of chicken broth. Some poultry seasoning. And a bit of black pepper. And we bring the whole thing to a boil. Here we have some biscuit baking mix combined with some milk to create a soft dough. We'll cut this into strips, and these will be our dumplings. Now we add them to our boiling soup, cover it, and let it simmer. Once they're cooked through, we stir in some cooked cut up chicken, and it's time to ring the dinner bell. The whole thing from start to finish takes less time than having a pizza delivered. And just wait until you try these Amish style dumplings. If you want to make our chicken and dumplings tonight, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a warm and cozy way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. All right, Howard, thank you. Next afternoon, pretty nice out this afternoon with highs approaching 60, but we could see scattered showers tonight. Chris has your full forecast next. Get red hot savings with this week's High V Hot Deals. That's Smart Bananas, only 29 cents a pound. Pepsi products, three for just $10 when you buy three. And our special recipe bratwurst, five for only $5. Only at High V. This is online learning. Today, it's more relevant than ever. This is you, a person looking for a lasting career. And this is Herzing University's Everywhere Classroom, where you can earn a degree in nursing, healthcare, business, and IT. Anywhere, anytime. Take an online course free and get comfortable with online learning. That makes a degree from Herzing University more relevant than ever. I'm possible at Herzing. Learn more today. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand, especially now, with six-month payment relief. Buy a new Ford. We'll defer three payments and make three payments for peace of mind up to six months. Shop at Ford.com or contact your Ford dealer to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. You have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me in my classes when I must give attention to detail to the task at hand. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting nationalguard.com. Save with these hot deals and more at Hy-Vee. General Mills cereal, just $1.97. Whole rotisserie chicken, only $5.99. Hy-Vee butter, only $2.48. And Hy-Vee orange juice, just 99 cents, only at Hy-Vee. Hi folks, we are continuing to recognize the people risking their own health to keep the rest of us healthy during this outbreak. And with libraries closed, we'll tell you how you can still find reading resources for your kids while they're home. See you tomorrow. Download the Channel 3000 First Warm Weather app today. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. For the future with buyouts, Diane King Hall has your Money Watch report.
Wall Street extended losses in early trading after a sharp drop yesterday. Attempts at gains were overshadowed by the worst weekly jobless claims report ever. The sudden shutdown of the U.S. economy due to the coronavirus pandemic has sent shock waves across many industries, leading to unprecedented job losses. The Labor Department says more than 6.6 million people filed for unemployment benefits last week. That is a record and double the price week. To put that in perspective, the worst week during the Great Recession, just 665,000 people filed for unemployment. Meantime, Boeing is asking for volunteers to be cut from payrolls. The company says the plan would allow eligible employees to receive a buyout package. Boeing says more details will be announced in the next three to four weeks. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. I'm Diane King-Hall. Diane, thank you. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 269 points. The Nasdaq up 82 and the S&P 500 gaining 33. Farm Director Pam Miyake is here now with today's Ag News. Pam. What you are looking at is every dairy farmer's worst nightmare, and unfortunately it's happening on more than 115 of our larger dairy farms in the state of Wisconsin. They were notified by Dairy Farmers of America that uh, as of basically Wednesday, they would no longer have a market for their milk. They were asked to dispose of that milk in their manure storage facilities, and we don't know exactly when this is going to stop. Talking with the dairy farmers that are impacted, uh, they say what's really frustrating Frustrating and maddening is the fact that there are still grocery stores that have signs up limiting that amount of milk that consumers can buy. Uh, the milk is out there. It's the processing situation that's having problems. Dairy Farmers of America responded to my request with a press release. You can see it at MidwestFarmReport.com, along with all the coverage that we've been working on on this devastating situation. As it stands right now, though, there's been questions about uh, why can't we donate that milk? Please understand, folks, these dairy farms are not equipped to package or distribute any of this milk uh, in it is in bulk, and there is really no way for them to get it to a donation site. However, you can make a difference by donating milk. Now, because of COVID-19, our food banks basically are not able to physically accept your milk donations, but you can adopt a cow. If you go to the Second Harvest Food Bank and search for Adopt a Cow, you will be given an opportunity to basically financially donate milk from Wisconsin through that Adopt a Cow program. That's one way that consumers can try to help not only those that are in the food insecure position, but also help some of our Wisconsin dairies. And uh, as all the dairy farmers that have been impacted by this have told me, they hope that this is going to be a very short situation and that soon we get the milk supply situation turned back around. So all of you have all the milk you want on every grocery store sh shelf that you see. But right now, it's a devastating story for our Wisconsin dairy industry. Like I said, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to get you everything we've got. MidwestFarmReport.com. And that's your food and fiber update from the old farm, babe. Have a great day and be safe. Thanks, Pam. You too. Here's Chris now with our first warm weather. Well, we started out with some sunshine earlier today. Now the clouds are already starting to stream on in. That's ahead of the next system that's going to be bringing chances for rain our way. Look for those clouds to increase as we go throughout the day. Eventually, those rain chances do move in. But by the time we get you towards next week first, we have at least a shot at our first chance at seeing some of those 70 degree temperatures. We're warm outside right now. We're at 54 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. Winds are coming out of the south at 15 miles per hour. Folks, a south wind at any time of the year is a wind that's really going to warm you up, especially if you're able to see some sunshine. And that's what we saw earlier. Now that the clouds are filtering in, how quick our temperatures rise is going to begin to slow down just a little bit. But still, Jane Zill at 55 right now. Bosco Bell already at the 60 degree mark. Black River Falls, check it out, already at 61. Here are those clouds though. We are in on the thin clouds right now in Madison, but the further west you go, the thicker those clouds begin to get. So work your way back over the Driftless region now, closer towards the Mississippi River. This is where we're starting to see the brightest clouds show up on satellite. 
So far, no showers coming out of those clouds, but that could very well change as we head into tonight. Here's our setup right now. We have an area of high pressure over towards the east. This is sending our winds out of the south. At the same time, the low pressure just towards the northwest is helping to send those winds out of the south. Not only does it warm you up, it adds moisture to the air. So anything that can unzip that moisture, well, leads to rain chances. And in this case, it's going to be that area of low pressure. Watch what happens as things begin to get closer to us as we move through the overnight hours. This is one o'clock in the morning. That warm front begins to sweep on through. You'll see a line of some showers with that. And then we lead to scatter showers, or we endure scattered showers, rather, as we go throughout the day on Friday. Not a complete washout, but notice how you see these isolated showers at times. The next round is going to be the cold front. This will come through as we move into Saturday night. That's where we'll see some of the heaviest rounds of your showers come through and maybe even a thunderstorm or two. Let's plot the temperatures on and time things out. This is this afternoon with those highs right around 60. The clouds thicken up overnight. Now we're stopping the clock at 2.30 in the morning and we begin to see that first little round of some light rain pushing on through. We wake up. It's 7.30 in the morning on Friday. Things are going to be damp. You're going to see the clouds around, but the rain may not actually be falling at that point. I'd still, I'd still encourage you to take an umbrella with you if you're going to need to be out. Temperatures will rise once again towards 60, but here comes that cold front into the afternoon and we begin to see more and more of those showers popping up, especially during the overnight hours. This is Friday night at 11 o'clock. Notice the winds coming off of Lake Michigan here throughout eastern Wisconsin. You work your way throughout western Wisconsin. These winds are coming out of the north and west. This is that cold front coming through. This is also when we'll see the best chance for those showers and then temperatures really do drop as we move in behind that. But as we look ahead, folks, we begin to see warmer than normal temperatures as a whole going through the next couple of weeks. Check out the eastern two thirds of the country. We're talking from down south all the way up to the Canada border, looking at the great probabilities for above normal temperatures. In fact, our normal high is 48 right now. By the end of that forecast, our normal high is 52. You see 70s in that forecast. This is what we're talking about, that true spring like weather, but it does come with the rain chances. Right now we're watching Monday through Wednesday very closely for our next system to bring rain. We'll cool down after that back into the 50s by next Thursday, warmer by next Friday with another rain chance on the table for next Saturday. April showers. April showers bring May flowers. When we get to May, we will enjoy the flowers, I'm sure. I'm sure we will. <laughs> Thank right. you, Chris. Next at noon, we'll introduce you to our pet of the week. We'll meet Hunter right after this. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Big insurance companies often use their size to take advantage of injured people making a claim. But it shouldn't be about who's the biggest. It should be about what's right. Habish, Habish and Rotier. We fight for what's right. Go vote for justice, Daniel Kelly. Who is Dan Kelly? On the Supreme Court, Dan Kelly rejected stronger anti-corruption rules and then ruled repeatedly in favor of his own wealthy campaign donors. There's a better choice. Jill Karofsky is a trial court judge, a former prosecutor, a victim advocate, and a mother of two. On the Supreme Court, I'll make decisions based on the law and its impact on real people, not corporate donors. Tough. Fair. Independent. Jill Karofsky for Supreme Court. Everyone is trying to do their part, especially now. And your Ford dealer is built to lend a hand. If your vehicle needs service, just call. Ford service centers are essential to your community and are still open. Find out about pickup and delivery options from participating Ford dealers. Plus, they've implemented enhanced cleaning measures for added peace of mind. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us do our part and help take care of you. Prepping your pantries and bathrooms? I would also urge you to consider natural ways to support your immune system to keep the viruses away. Hi, I'm Tim O'Brien, owner of the healthy place Apple Wellness. For weeks now, we have been building inventory in the most important product categories like immune and lungs. With demand surging beyond anyone's expectation, we can't guarantee that every item will stay in stock. Our commitment is to keep the essentials available. Stop by one of our four Madison locations or check us out online at finderhealthyplace.com. 
one goes all in on made from scratch freshness like Papa Murphy's. We go all in on quality. All in on craft. And on the new triple pep, we go all in on pepperoni. Because when you go all in, people notice. This game day, go all in with the new triple pep, topped with three different kinds of pepperoni for just $10. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Shop the largest selection of quality furniture and mattresses from the comfort of your home on Steinhoffels.com. Right now, Steinhoffels will ship your purchase free to your curb, driveway, or garage. Start shopping right now with a name you can trust, Steinhoffels.com. University of Wisconsin President Ray Cross says the coronavirus outbreak could force changes to the fall semester that's scheduled to begin in August. Cross told the Board of Regents today that the UW was working on various scenarios based on rapidly changing conditions. UW-Madison has announced all summer classes have moved online. Cross says plans for the fall will be made in the coming weeks. It's time now to meet a pet of the week, potentially yours. Our pet of the week is Hunter, a dapper one-year-old shepherd mix. He's looking for an active family so he can play and go on lots of walks. He's very smart and would like to show off how much he knows and would do well in training classes. Hunter's looking for a home dedicated to positive reinforcement who will give him lots of love and time to run. He's a playful guy so he needs a very active family dedicated to giving him an outlet for his energy. Hunter doesn't always realize how big and goofy he is and would do best in a home without young children. If you'd like to meet Hunter or learn more about him, call the Dane County Humane Society's Adoption Center 608 8380413 extension 145 to speak with an adoption counselor or set up an appointment. You can also go to giveshelter.org. And our pup from last week, Pearl, still looking for a new home. The Dane County Humane Society is excited to announce that they will be opening a new and improved thrift store. It's located on Watts Road right across from Woodman's West. Their current space was closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but whenever they reopen, this will be a new location. The building has about two and a half times more space to carry kids' items, have a larger selection of furniture and can follow store updates on the Dane County, Dane County Humane Society's Thrift Store Facebook page. And here's Chris with one final check of the forecast. Clouds are on the way, Mark, but temperatures are also on their way, up towards 60 degrees. A lot of us are sitting in the mid and upper 50s right now. Rain chances begin to arrive as we move into the overnight hours, and we will especially see those rain chances headed into Friday. Saturday, we'll see a chance for some showers in the morning. Those will come to an end. Then we begin to see some more sunshine. Check out what happens on Sunday. 61 with sunshine, though we will see clouds and a chance for some showers Sunday night headed into your Monday, but then it's a change in temperatures once again because we go from 63 on Monday to 71 headed into your Tuesday. Once again, though, we'll be watching that chance for some showers and thunderstorms with temperatures that mild. We go back down to 60 by Wednesday, so we have a cold front coming during that period. But then we get a couple more days of sunshine once again. By Thursday, starting out around 40 degrees, we'll top out into the low 50s. It's upper 50s by the time we get you towards Friday. But then, of course, by next Saturday, we're watching another chance for some showers and thunderstorms. So it's very spring-like and that extended forecast. But you know what they say, April showers, bring the Mayflowers. All right, Chris, thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here at 4. Have a safe afternoon.